Right. I think that one of the most important things what uh, we can do as an international community is to create an in a, a platform for cooperation amongst different stakeholders. And, uh, and this forum does provide such a possibility. Imagine that the AI is probably going to dominate all aspects of our life in the future, and discussions on AI will be on all different uh, parts of, uh, of, the, uh, of, uh, of the agenda in, in, uh, in international community and in the world. Therefore, creating a sort of a centralized or unified platform among UN agencies is probably one of the most important things we could have done now. Well, I think that w I mean, what we should do, and, and uh, by we I mean the international community, international organizations, people who are involved in that, is that we need to really understand the issue first very well. Therefore, I think that we are very much sort of uh, far away from creating any kind of legally binding charters like conventions or, uh, or legal mechanisms. I think that we need to understand the issue first very well. Therefore, the broad guidelines, which basically is the outcome of, uh, of this summit, is a very good start, start off, very good starting point, which will provide the base to understand the issue much better. And I think that that's, that's, that's very important at this stage because the technology is very new. Even the creators of the technology don't understand where and how fast this will go. Oh, we all believe that everything is going exponentially and, and the growth is very fast, but at the same time, uh, we do need to understand which directions it will take and, and what would be the real risks and what would be the real benefits of it. So what is very important from, from my point of view is that certainly, I mean, this has been said many times uh, during the summit and we keep on repeating that, that we need to absolutely maximize the benefits and minimize the risks and we need to understand what are those. Oh, obviously, I mean, the benefits, there are enormous benefits uh, which AI is going to bring and we have seen already and some of it has been demonstrated and this is just in the, in the stage of infancy. I mean, we all see all the applications which can provide benefits and now since this is the UN summit, we talk about how AI can contribute to the UN sustainable development goals and I believe that AI has potential to, uh, to contribute to all, all goals, so I would not make any specific examples, but I would say that it has potential to actually contribute to all of it. As far as the risks are concerned, I mean, certainly there could be many different risks. For example, today I was chairing a, a session, <coughs> a breakthrough session on privacy and security, and there has been many discussions that whether the AI is going to be end of uh, end of our privacy or or whether it's going to push us to do too much privacy and whether it's a good or not. But there will be many many different risks. Now, another uh, subject area of the risks which we discussed there is that how terror is going to explode and exploit uh, this technology and 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 uh, what sort of autonomy ai might have which could be cut in the wrong people's hands and could be used for uh, for bad purposes things like for example hacking into uh, drones or self driving cars and and combining it with um, materials of weapons of mass destruction like chemical biological radiological nuclear weapons i mean consequences could be unbelievably enormous so we need to really be mindful of that type of possibilities we want to make sure that the policy makers and future policymakers have a very accurate and very balanced information on the risks and benefits of artificial intelligence. Basically, what we want to make sure that we will take all the benefits which are possible to take out of the AI developments without stifling the innovation, but also making sure that the risks which could be associated with that is also very well understood. Basically, not to rush into the issues, but at the same time, not to stop the innovation. So on the contrary, actually, to support the innovation, but at the same time, to see that the risks are also minimized. The summit is absolutely exciting. This is exciting that basically first time United Nations, United Nations agencies, so many of them got together and debating the issue of AI coming up with the real solutions, talking about real issues, talking about the real contribution. I think this is a fantastic uh, undertaking and I really commend the ITU for taking this leadership, Xprice and, and all the other UN agencies who joined this effort to make this uh, summit as exciting as it is. Now, uh, there has been a lot of practical discussions and this is <laughs> also very exciting. All these practical discussions, pra pra practical discussions, practical examples, how 
many UN agencies are already running some programs which are related to the innovation, technological innovation and, the, and AI. This is just an infancy, of course, this is just the beginning. And I'm really excited to see that what sort of summits we will be running in five years and 10 years down the road. What kind of examples we're going to see, what kind of examples AI for good examples we're going to see in five years times. I mean, this is, this is uh, yeah, huge, massive. Thank you.